so today we will uh, study particle in a box which is the essential problem that we will start with in solving schrodinger equation so it's very basic uh, problem and it can be solved very easily that's why we have chosen this particular problem here so let us start with what happens actually here so people usually confused with the problem in three dimension so here we will start with one dimension so remember our dimension is one so in one dimension you know how Schrodinger equation looks like so it's minus h cut square twice m d2 psi dx2 plus v of x psi x is equals to e psi of x so this one is your web function and this is the potential in which the quantum particle resides on so this is your potential and this e designates your energy of the particle so having this kind of information we want to study the particle which is in a box by box it means that the particle is accessible in certain region of space and other parts are inaccessible so let us draw the diagram and okay so this will okay so we have this direction as x and this is our direction in which this will be vx and this will be x so we are trying to understand what is the structure of the potential so here the structure is very simple in this region that is x less than 0 this point is x equals to 0 and this point is some positive value a so when the posi position is x less than 0 that is in negative values of x your potential is infinity in this region similarly when the position is greater than x equals to a here also the potential is infinity that means these two regions are not accessible to the particle so this and this regions are not accessible to the particle and we are assuming here in this region the potential is here v is equals to 0 so only this part of the potential is x so let us study now so as you know in which part the potential is infinity your wave function cannot exist there so as soon as this becomes infinity your potential becomes infinity your wave function also vanishes this will become 0 even it is at x equals to a 0 and similarly here at x less than equals to 0 it has to be 0 so there is no mean, meaning of solving Schrodinger equation in this two regime so let us concentrate on our required uh, region that is from x greater than 0 and less than a so let us solve this so in this regi regime your vx is 0 so put your Schrodinger equation here and you will get minus h cut square twice m d2 psi dx2 plus 0 psi x is equals to e psi x so this is vanished and you will simply get psi dx2 is equals to minus twice m over e cut square psi x. Now if the particle has the positive energy then this thing is a positive quantity and rename it as k square. So now our equation becomes d2 psi dx2 plus k square psi x is equals to 0 so 
this differential equation is well known to all of you and the solution is trivial which is a cos x plus b sorry b sin k x so as usual this was a second order differential equation that's why you got two undetermined conditions so we need two boundary conditions so that we can get the this coefficient a and b so first condition is psi at x equals to 0 has to 0 because at that point the potential is infinity and another boundary condition will be at x equals to a so let us start with this condition if you imply this condition to this uh, solution sorry this equation to this solution what comes up so you put 0 is equals to a cos 0 you know 1 and this one becomes 0 for sine part that implies you got a equals to a. now your solution becomes what psi of x equals to B sine of kx. So now you, you have to determine what is the value of b, and that is also trivial if you use this boundary condition. So now plug this boundary condition to this equation, and you will get 0 equals to b sine ka. And this is this can have two solutions either b is equals to 0 or sin k b is equals to 0 but remember our solution was this a cos k plus b sin k and already we have seen that a has to be 0 for satisfying the boundary condition now again if we choose b equals to 0 the wave function will vanish in previous trick so that that doesn't mean anything so that's why this is not a physical solution so we will not go with this solution rather we will go with this solution so what this says this says about your k a has to be n pi or your k has to be n pi over a so now we can write down our wave function so what is our wave function it was initially shine a cos x which is 0 here as a equals to 0 now we are left with b sin k x so let it be b sin where what is k so this is actually n pi by a so we have to put n pi by a x now still we have not determined the b and this b uh, will be basically a normalization constant like thing so let let us normalize this wave function normalization condition is this from minus infinity to plus infinity but uh, but you know that uh, this limit is not from minus infinity to plus infinity rather it should be 0 to k because in other days your your wave function got vanished so this is your normalization condition actually so now this has to be b square 0 to k sin square x over a dx that will be 1 so let's divide by it 2 0 to a then you know the formula it has to be 1 minus cos twice in by x by a dx equals to 1 so I will leave the job for you can you show this integral vanishes and you will be left with 0 to a dx equals to 1 that implies b square a by 2 equals to 1 that implies b has to be root 2 by k so for one dimensional box you have the wave function as 
root 2 by a sin n pi x by a. So this is your wave function in one dimensional box. This one is normalized wave function. Now we are also left with another job which is the uh, energy of the particle. What, what could be the energy of the particle? So that we may do in the next video. So that's for it. If you have any question you can be in comment section.